I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we're going to be sampling some British cheeses. So a few months ago, we actually asked some of our viewers if they had some recommendations of British cheeses that would be good for us to try. So we definitely appreciate all of your comments. We managed to pick up quite a few of them. Um, I think we have five here to sample. There are actually over 700 named cheeses in the UK. So of course we're not gonna be able to sample all of those. We only have a very limited variety available to us here. I would love to go to the UK and just sample cheeses, especially where they're originally produced. That would be so much fun. Yes. So I think we're gonna start out with the Lancashire first. It's called Beaconfell Lancashire. It was made in the Ribble Valley in England. And I believe all these cheeses we have today are from England rather than um, I know some people recommended the Welsh Caerphilly, I believe is how you pronounce it. I could not find that one. And Lan we found the Lancashire cheese actually at Trader Joe's, our local Trader Joe's, and I was really curious to try that one. I actually did sample it a few months ago because it was something new they had at Trader Joe's. So let's go ahead and sample first just plain. Got a few here just ready to go. Thank you. If I understand correctly, this is the cheese that was recommended for Chorley and Eccles yes, Cakes. Yes, they say it pairs well with Chorley and Eccles Cakes. Unfortunately, we don't have any right now, but that is something else on my agenda. I really want to try making Chorley Cakes by hand. I, I looked up recipes, it looked like it was maybe a little bit easier to make than the Eccles Cakes, so I thought that would be a good one to start with. So let's give this a try. I really like that flavor. It's mm. very mild. It is. Soft. Mm-hmm. All the cheeses have been left out about an hour so that they can come to room temperature. That's recommended for cheese to get the best flavor from them. Mm -hmm. And something I saw recommended as a pairing for the Lancashire cheese is something else new that we haven't tried, and that is the Branston pickle. So we're curious to try what this tastes like. Yes. Thank you. I don't know if I want on cracker or bread or... I'll try a little bread. So, I think I'm smelling the pickles. Yeah, it has a strong flavor, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm curious how it um, compares to American pickle relish. It looks much darker. It looks a lot different from pickle relish. And I think it has other vegetables in it besides pickles. Yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead and use the cheese knife to dip in there. It's a little on the chunkier side too compared mm -hmm. to American pickle relish. Mm, it smells really good. Yeah, definitely has a strong smell to it. Ready? Ready. <laughs> I like that. The Branston pickle is definitely way different from our pickle relish. Right. I would say the pickle relish that we have here is on the sweet side. Mm-hmm. At least most that I've tried, most that I buy. And uh, it doesn't seem to have that same sweetness. I feel like it's a little sweet, but also maybe a little, a little sour as well. Yeah. It's got a nice, nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And I forgot what all vegetables are in this, but it's more than just pickles. Or cucumbers, I should say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I do have my glasses on. <laughs> oh, it's that gold label that I can't read very well. <laughs> like the mm -hmm. taste of it. Mm -hmm. It tastes pretty good. So, overall, that, that cheese is a win with you? I really like that cheese, yeah. Me too. It's one that I could just snack on it by itself. As Ross well knows, a lot of times before bed, I like to get into the fridge. Yes. Pull out a little cheese and snack on some cheese. <laughs> and Finn will be right behind her, mm -hmm. pawing, begging for a little piece of cheese to fall on the floor. Okay, next up, I apologize for looking down. I was trying to take some notes so I remembered which ones we were trying. We have Cathedral City Vintage English Cheddar. Now this one on the package said UK's number one cheddar. This Now this is made in uh, Cornwall, and my understanding is the original cheddar is from Somerset County. So what do you all think? Is this really the number one cheddar in the UK, or is this just a marketing campaign 
from what I read, they just started um, exporting to the U.S. probably about a year ago. So I don't know if this is just something to get us to buy or whether this truly is a, a very popular cheddar. So yes. let us know. Yes, let us know if it's false advertising. Yeah. <laughs> so let's try... It looks a little more firmer compared to the... The Lancashire, yeah. yeah. Similar color, but... Yeah. It's pretty soft. It's got a nice flavor. Yeah, just to let people know, um, we've had a lot of comments where people talk about American cheese, like all we eat here is American cheese, and that's that's really not true. No. <laughs> I mean, there's a little, we have a few American craft singles that are available. And typically you'll have it on maybe a hamburger or a grilled cheese sandwich, but it's not something that we would be eating like this. Now it does work well as far as giving Finn pills. We have disguised his pills in some American cheese. Although I have to admit, even Finn, I think, prefers Havarti. I think that's his favorite for taking his pills. Yeah, we refer to it as his medicinal Havarti cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just easy to hide a little pill in there and kind of molded it up a bit right and he, he loves it he does love it cheese is like the one way to get pills down him he's terrible at taking pills i do have to say the cheddar we have here usually comes in mild medium or sharp and i think even like the sharp maybe is not as sharp as what you'll find with uk cheddar cheese that's just my feeling just even tasting this that it's usually more of an orange color than this mm -hmm. but this is nice i tried to get one because the lester i think is more aged i tried to get one that wasn't as aged of a cheddar I think they said maybe it was aged 12 months. I asked the person working behind the cheese counter. But, it's good. Mm -hmm. I like it. More firm than the first cheese we had. A little bit. It has a slightly stronger taste. It is definitely a stronger taste. And I would say definitely stronger than the cheddars we're used to. Yeah. It has a little different flavor. And we do love cheddar. I think more so than American cheddar is really popular here. Of course, most of them are American made cheddars. Tillabook is a big um, company here in Oregon that makes a lot of cheddar cheese and other cheeses. So, for what to pair it with, I was thinking, I have some apple slices here, so do you want to try pairing it with some apple? Oops, sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> it seems like cheddar is one of those popular things I got to put on apple pies. Yeah, we have a very popular cheese, uh, very popular restaurant chain, Marie Callender's, and I remember when I was a kid, probably Napkins would be printed to apple pie without some cheese. It's like a kiss without a squeeze. And cheddar cheese. Oh, I think that pairs really nicely. That little tang of the cheddar with the apple. Mm hmm Yeah, no complaints. I like it. Now, what do you think as far as cheddar that you've had here? Cheddar that I've had here. Well, like American style cheddar. Like the typical cheddar we find in the grocery store. Well, I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> um, not as strong. Uh, or I should say, not as sharp. Yeah. yeah. As some others that I've tried not very often. Because there's been some stores that we've gone to. Like in Carmel, I remember we. There's a cheese shop in Carmel. Mm -hmm. And I. I remember having like a very sharp blue cheese. I think I remember tasting very sharp cheddar cheese and I was surprised it was much sharper than what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. That may have been an bigger. aged one too. Yeah. Because that definitely makes them sharper. Like I think this is, is similar, more similar to our sharp, what we would call sharp cheddar here. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. And would you normally pair it with something sweet or would you, what would you normally have it with? Cheddar is one of those that I'll just eat on its own. But I did like it paired with the apple. I thought that was nice. But um, I think there's another popular one like for, um, you can grate it on top of toast or something. That sounds good. I, I think that would be good. We did try that. Um, we tried a cheddar with some Marmite on top of toast. And that was that was really good. Yeah. And cheddar on top of uh, beans on toast. I thought mm -hmm. those, those all made great pairings. So if you have any other suggestions, let us know. Yeah, please. So next up, we have Belton Farm Red Fox Aged Lester, or Aged Red Lester, and this is from Shropshire. Red Fox. Red Fox, and I did read that it's named after a weather vane there that is on Belton Farm that's been there since 1815. And this one I think is more aged. Oh, I forgot to write it down, but I think it is, it's an aged cheese. Okay.
That's nice too. Looking at it, I expect it to be a lot like our cheddars because this this is really what our cheddars look like. Is this color? Yeah, I agree. Since it is more aged, you get a little of those crystals. Mm -hmm. You get, have that nice little crunch. But flavor-wise, it is it's a little different, definitely from a cheddar. It's good. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. You want to try that with apple now? Why not? Why not? <laughs> As you're eating. Hmm? Yeah. Have you always been a cheese lover? I think so. I've always eaten it as a kid. As I got more of an adult, I started trying different types of cheeses rather than your typical cheddar jack. You know, the kind of things that you typically get here. And my mom and I started having yearly wine and cheese get-togethers where we would pick out specialty cheeses and... Um, yeah, that's always been a lot of fun, trying cheese from different countries or different artisan cheeses. And speaking of artisan cheeses, um, I'll make a link up above and also in the description to a cheese playlist. I'm a member of a artisan cheese club. It's actually American Artisan Cheese. And so we've done a few reviews of those cheeses as well. So if you're into cheese, you might want to check those out. I don't know that I've had red Leicester cheese before. Because most of these, I feel like I've maybe tried a version of them at one time or another. I don't recall having this one. I like it though. Yeah, nice like flavor. It. I was thinking it was going to be much stronger than this because it was aged, but not as not as strong as some of the really mature aged cheddars I've had. I, I know that you tried quite a few. Are there any that you just absolutely? No, I absolutely cannot stand this one particular cheese. No, I don't like it. Oh. Get it away from me. God awful. I wish I could remember one that my mom and I sampled in Carmel this summer. It was from France, and I, there are a lot of cheeses I absolutely love from France, and I don't remember the name, but it was it was one of those where we both did not care for it. Um, otherwise, there are some that I think they describe them as barnyardy, and I generally don't care for the the barnyardy type cheese, cheeses. It's like you, it's one thing is because sometimes cheeses do smell. They they smell a little funky, <laughs> but a lot of times they taste really good. You know, if you give it a whiff, it's like oh, I don't know about that, but then going down, it's like oh, it actually tastes nice. Some of the barnyardy cheeses, not only do they taste, they smell like kind of what a barnyard smells like, they kind of taste like it too. So those are the ones that I, I don't care for as much. Okay. So our next one is probably one of the stronger cheeses. We got a Stilton, and that is Cropwell Bishop Blue Stilton, and it is from Nottingham. And this one actually has a PDO status, it said on the label, which is a protected designation of origin which I don't think we have anything like that here in, in the U.S. We probably wouldn't have that many original cheeses besides like maybe Jack and Colby, but um, my understanding is it has to be made in, the, in a particular region and it gets that protected status. Like you can't call it a Stilton if it's made somewhere else. That's my understanding of it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. You are the cheese expert. <laughs> and I know you happen to like blue cheeses. Yes, I do. So we'll be brave and we'll try a little bit on its own because I figure it's going to be strong. <laughs> oh. That's quite, quite a tang to it, huh? That's strong. Mm-hmm. I like it. So this is another one that I think we can pair with apple and I also brought out a little bit of honey. We don't have any fancy honey, but... And of course, I don't have any nuts. I understand it pairs well with like walnuts and pecans as well. I was thinking meat. <laughs> I'd pair this with roast beef. Actually, that's really good. We've had a few hamburgers with um, blue cheese, not necessarily Stilton, but other types of blue cheese, mm -hmm. and that is really good. And I think yeah, it goes well on on some red meats. Do you want to try it with a little honey? Okay, yes, I will. <laughs> Didn't spill a drop. Mmm. <clears throat> that does go well nicely together. I've always heard about pairing honey. I don't think I've ever really done it, though. Hmm. 
But that's nice, the sweet with that tang. It does go really well. See, I'm so used to pairing blue cheese with something savory, not as sweet. But that does go very well together. It does. Mm -hmm. I would definitely agree with you. Like with, you know, roast beef or, or topped on a hamburger is really good. Oh, yeah. Something else you're not a huge fan of are um, cheeses with fruit in them. Yeah, and that's what our last one is. So we'll see how that goes. Another one I do like that comes up at Trader Joe's sometimes, I think it's called Huntsman's Cheese. And it's a, it has Stilton in it and I believe Cotswold, I'm not 100% sure, but it's it almost looks like little stripes. And so you eat them together. I really like that one too. Yeah, I've tried that. And last up, we have Summerdale Wensleydale with blueberries. So this is one, Wensleydale is not one that I was very easy for us to find and the only ones we found were had fruits in them. One had cranberries and one had blueberries. And so that's definitely one that was a little harder for us to find. I feel like Stilton, the Cheddars are definitely easier. The Lancashire is not as widely available either. But I believe Wensleydale's also comes as just plain cheese, which I would love to try, but we just didn't have that option. Try a little piece. Yes. Don't rush me, woman. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Bad. Oh. Try a little on a cracker, too. Since it already has the blueberries, I won't mix it with anything. I chose blueberries because I thought I might like it better than cranberries. I'm not a big cranberry fan, so I think this is nice. It is. Yeah, that, that really has a nice flavor to it. So do you have any standout favorite? <laughs> hmm. No pressure there. <laughs> no pressure there. Well, I think this will be one where we agree to disagree. Um, I like them all. See, that's where I'm having trouble too. I'm thinking, I didn't dislike any of them. They're all good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna give a Tina answer. It depends on my mood. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I liked all of these, but uh, I kind of like the stronger tasting cheeses myself. Okay. And so with that said, I would go with the last two that we tried, the blue cheese and the one with the blueberry. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, when you, when, you, when you mentioned stronger, I was thinking you might go for the aged Lester or something like that, but because sometimes the aged cheeses have a stronger flavor. But yeah, I hear you on the Stilton, for sure will be strong. Yeah, so these two, the Stilton blue cheese and the one with the blue, the one with the blueberry here. Yeah. Because I felt like as cheeses go, I don't think the Wensleydale was super strong. It had more flavor with the uh, blueberries added to it. My own opinion is I thought the one with the blueberry that we just tried last had more flavor than the first two. The yeah, the, the Lancashire was definitely pretty uh, mild. I'd be curious to try it though without the fruit just to really taste what that cheese tastes like on its own. Right. And the um, Branston, first time trying that. I liked it. I like to try that with other things. Me too. Mac and I still, I'm still getting the aroma of the Branston. It's pretty strong. So that was kind of fun to try that. We, we bought a jar at Cost Plus. We had heard people talk about it. We weren't 100% sure how to use it. And we started hearing a few things about pairing with cheese. I thought, ooh, I'd like to do that. So here we are, tried it out. But again, if you have any other suggestions on how to use Branston Pickle, just let us know in the comments down below. What are the, so what are any that you disliked then? Oh no, I, I, I liked all of them. What did you like the best of all? that we tried and sampled. See, it's hard for me to pick a favorite too. Um, I really do like that Lancashire cheese. That's one of those I could definitely see. Like I mentioned me getting a little piece of cheese before bed. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an easy one. Whereas I feel like I don't really want to have something that strong before bed, like on the Stilton or or maybe the, the cheddar we had, the vintage cheddar, that was good too. And then I like those because they're easy to slice off and not quite as messy as the more crumbly Stilton. But yeah, I mean, they were they were all good to me. 
I definitely then made a nice nice assortment of cheeses to try. Did you have any accompaniment that or pairing that you really enjoyed? Hmm. Well, I, I know that I tried the first two with the Branston and I, I thought the savory worked. And I was kind of curious to try this Tilton with the Branston. I haven't tried yet. And maybe even the cranberry with a little honey. I mean the blueberry? Did, did I say cranberry? You said cranberry. I meant blueberry. <laughs> so. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but, I definitely enjoyed the Branston as an accompaniment. Um, and, and of course the, the cheddar and the lesser went really wonderfully with the apple. Yes. And probably the big surprise for me, because I'd kind of avoided trying honey, I thought, oh, honey and cheese, I don't know. But I really did enjoy it with the Stilton. I thought that made a really nice, nice, nice pairing. Yes. And I'm trying to remember, because sometimes you compare chocolate with cheese as well. And I, I'm trying to remember if it's the blue cheeses that supposedly go well with certain types of chocolate. Really? I know it seems really weird, but it's one of those things you just don't know until you try it. I, I never would have really linked the two. Yeah. So do you have a favorite cheese? From the UK let us know down in the comments maybe we will go out and try some more you know, as we mentioned there there's limited availability for us uh, if we go to some place like when we go to Carmel cheese shop they have hundreds of cheeses and yeah. it's it's really great um, our local Safeway has a decent selection of imported cheeses as well as more artist American artisan cheeses which are definitely nicer than the ones you typically get, get in the dairy aisle here um, so that's, that's been a nice place to go. And not, not all Safeways are as good. My mom says her Safeway does not have all that nice cheese. So I feel a little bit fortunate in that way. And they actually have somebody working behind the counter that knows something about cheese. So that, that's always helpful too. We have somebody that's really good, a good cheese monger that can recommend cheeses. That's really helpful. And of course the cheese shop actually lets you sample. So that's even better yet. You get to sample before you buy. Yeah, there's also um, Whole Foods. Or nuggets. Whole Foods, yeah, Whole Food Nugget, they're pretty good too. In fact, I went there first looking for British cheese and I was a little bit surprised at the lack of British cheeses they had. I was very surprised. They they did have the Stilton and they had, Whole Foods had a really big selection of blue cheeses. I actually thought they had more than they really needed and needed to stock up in some of the other areas. But um, yeah, I got actually a lot of these through Trader Joe's and Safeway. So if you like food reaction videos, food tastings, please subscribe to our channel. Give this video a like, it would really help us out. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.